Paintball is awesome. Now on Extreme Paintball. Beyond the paint. Let's go! When I'm on the field, I hate everybody. I don't care if I hurt you. Paintball has quickly become the top extreme sport in the nation. The hot chicks love paintball. With nearly 10 million participants, the sport is taking strategy and teamwork to the next level. It's a team sport. You learn the team side of things, but it's also you have to have individual skills too. Fueled by the most intense blend of passion and performance. When you know someone's gonna hurt you, it, the adrenaline flies. You have to be a good shot, you have to be in good shape. It's exciting, it's so much fun. Mentally, physically, and everything, you gotta be like there, you know, you gotta be in the, in the heat of the moment. Some of the sport's most highly profiled athletes have converged on the NPPL Super 7 Series center court. Guys like adrenaline junkie Josh Davey. Oh, it's just like nothing out there I've ever, 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 ever done. It's exhilarating, it's, you know, it's the one thing that I, I really enjoy. And Veterans Chris Lasoya. If I'm playing paintball, I'm out there to win. And Travis Lemansky. You know, you're shooting 15 balls a second, you can definitely see a stream going somewhere, so. And the San Diego superstar Ryan Greenspan. It took my mom about four years to realize what's going on. We're plowing to the personalities that shape the attitude of paintball. You have, you know, that adrenaline constantly pumping through you. And learn more about the overwhelming obsession for the sport, both on the field and beyond the paint. They run at each other and shoot people. What more fun than that? The action is intense in a game where anything is possible. Last week, we saw one of the top-ranked teams, San Diego Dynasty, dominate their first game against New England Hurricanes, eliminating all seven players in just under two minutes. Their next game proved to be quite different, as Sacramento Excessive, led by veteran Rich Telford, pulled off a grueling win against Dynasty, just inside the seven-minute time limit. In the Pro Division, 18 teams will play a round-robin style tournament vying for a spot in Sunday's Elite Eight. Each seven-man team will try to capture the other team's flag while protecting their own. Their strategy will be to hide and maneuver through a series of NPPL bunkers, like the cans of various sizes, the car wash, the Doritos, and the snake trying to eliminate the opposing players by tagging them with a paintball shot from a special air gun called a marker. Our first match features veteran Chris Lasoya and the Montreal Image against the hometown favorite, New England Hurricanes. It's up next. Super 7 action begins today with New England Hurricanes. Hopefully hometown champ will have a big impact on us. They'll be able to pull things together and see how it goes. Versus Montreal Image. Image is led by one of the league's longest standing veterans, Chris Lasoya. Well, I've been involved in the sport since probably the day one. I think it was 86, the first paintball game was played. I started shortly after that. My dad had taken me out for the first time. I was like in ninth grade or something like that. His, his uh, company went out for a team team building exercise. I had a lot of fun playing. I got to shoot my mom, shoot my dad. I was playing ever since then. You know, I, I've seen the sport evolve from what it started as to what it is now. Now the tournaments really never got 
really big until probably the late 80s, mid, you know, around 88, 89. That was back in the 10-man days. I think the reason I might still be around is because, you know, you got to change with your, with your environment. Just like any other thing in life, you know, you got to change with the game. I had an opportunity of a lifetime, and I, you know, here I am, so it's nice. And really didn't matter to me, whatever he wanted to do. He loved it. He was a genuine star from the beginning. <laughs> if I'm playing paintball, I'm out there to win. I'm not there to lose. I'm out there to hurt people. I like playing paintball for a reason. Uh, I don't do it. If I didn't want to do that, I'd play golf. You know, it's becoming more of a sport instead of just a game that people play in the woods. Emotions are intense as these guys get psyched for the breakout. Usually the first game, morning butterflies. And after that, anything goes. This can be a critical point in the tournament, and a lot of strategy goes into it. Friday we come out here and watch the, watch the other amateur teams and stuff, play the field. We get a good feel for angles and, uh, you know, the blind shots on the break, you know, how the field plays a little bit, the moves you can make. And that's certainly what we're looking for. Where can we get on the field to get the most eliminations? And, uh, you know, how can I effectively get down the field without losing too many bodies in the process? Now on the NPPL center court. New England Hurricanes come from right to left in the blue uniforms and Montreal Image in their standard black. Oh, Montreal Image losing their first player going into the car wash. Ooh, looks like that guy just got hit in the hopper, a Montreal Image player. Ooh, now he's gonna come get out. What, what ref? I got hit there? <laughs> There's always a little bit of uh, cahoodling happening, trying to convince refs he didn't really get hit. But two Image players down, one Hurricanes player down. Trying to suck in now, trying to uh, get as tight as you can on that bunker. Five image players left. Hurricanes bump up the Doritos. Little movement, good movement. Both teams trying to jockey for position. Uh, image players in the snake on the red zone, the bottom, and a Hurricane player in the snake on the top. Now the snake on the left top of your screen there. There's a Hurricane player on one side and an Image player on the other side. Oh, and here comes the Hurricane. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, tight. They both hit, what's the ref's call? Oh, one for one on the Hurricanes player. Oh, the crowd didn't like that at all. Looks like the refs felt that the Hurricane player played on after getting shot, so that means a penalty, and this hometown crowd for New England did not like that at all, but Seemed like a good call from here. Now Image just trying to clean up a little bit. Only a couple players left. There's one gogged right in the goggles. It's kind of the most humiliating uh, place to get shot is from a paintball player. Getting shot in the goggles. And last one waves it off. And uh, Image uh, walk, rock and roll with the three lives. Going to win that against the Hurricanes. Controversial call on the snake, but uh, gave the win to Image. You know, we're, we're playing decent. We're not playing the best out here right now, but I think that we will pick it up towards the end of the day. Image and Hurricanes both again in that top snake. Let's see that uh, move that was so controversial. Here he comes, Hurricane player, point blank. Oh, I see that now. Looks like the Image player shot the Hurricane player, but the Hurricane player wanted to shoot a couple more just uh, for good measure, and that cost him a one for one. Good call by the rest. Only a one for one happens when a player gets marked in an obvious spot. Um, so, you know, their chest, their gun, their hopper, um, they get marked, they continue to play without wiping it. So, if the player is still, you know, still playing and we see an obvious hit, we'll go ahead and pull that player and then pull one more afterwards. You know, there's, you got to play paintball to play paintball. And if you don't, you're not going to win. Our coverage of the NBPL Super 7 Series continues with Oakland Blast battling it out with Pittsburgh All-Americans. when extreme paintball beyond the paint continues. Welcome back to extreme paintball beyond the paint. Tournament paintball has taken huge evolutionary strides in just a handful of years. Today, it's become the most intense, fast moving extreme sport in the nation. The guns these days shoot up to 20 balls a second. Uh, they shoot at 300 feet per second. Uh, which is about 220 miles an hour, uh, rough, right around there. Uh, they're coming fast, man. The, the competition level in the MPPL has, has come up 
tenfold from what it was three or four years ago. They might classify the pros as pros and the amateurs as, you know, as, as semi-pro or you know, division one, but some of the semi-pro teams, even division one teams, they're, they're just as good as the pro teams. The talent level that, that they're bringing in right now is, is real good. So you gotta be athletic, you know, you gotta train, you gotta go out and practice, and you gotta, you know, uh, run yourself drills, and you gotta practice like against good teams all the time, because if you show up at a tournament, uh, unprepared, you know, you're not going to make the cut. You got to have a perfect, you know, a certain physique to, to play paintball. Small, fast, you know, you see some of these kids out there, like I said, the demographic has come down. You have little 16 year old kids running circles around my butt. This little 16 year old kid runs by me, I'm like, Jesus, you know, they're faster, you know, they're tiny. So it definitely helps, you know, to be smaller for sure. And as I get older, I'm getting bigger and it's not working out for me. Like, I've known uh, Chris probably longer than anyone else that plays since way, way, way back in the day. And he's always been a, a really good dude. And he's another one of those guys that um, was just phenomenal to watch in the old days. Because with the slow rate of fire, that guy can make moves. And, you know, he would see when the guns would shift, he'd have the perfect time, and he'd run three or four guys. And you'd just be like, wow, that guy just single-handedly destroyed that team. Um, the, the more and more the volume of paint got up and the, and the speed of the guns got up, it really kind of kept him from doing that. And I, I truly think now if the guns were still slow, he'd still be making those moves. Our next NPPL Super 7 game features a little East Coast, West Coast action as Oakland Blast takes on Pittsburgh All-Americans. Oakland Blast getting ready for the breakout here in their black and red hybrid outfits. Looks like JT Pants. All Americans in their custom yellow and black outfits coming from right to left. Good breakup by both teams. Good secondary moves. A lot of these teams you'll see it in this field layout particularly that there's safe bunkers at the back and then there's movement right away. But there's movement all over here. There's people moving bunkers left, to right. They're in the snake. Both teams are in the snake, both sides. Their secondary moves to the car wash. And everyone's screaming, yelling, trying to figure out what's happening. What's happening is you got two really aggressive teams coming at each other, trying to find some position on each other. Now it settles down a little bit. All right, we're in our spots. Now let's see what happens. All Americans moved up the snake. And at the same time, Oakland Blast moved up the snake. So now in the red zone, the snake. Oakland Blast is now trying to get an angle, as well as All Americans. See, good, move, good movement by the All-Americans. They just play both sides of the bunkers. It's always stay on your toes. It's really skill playing left-handed and right-handed, something you don't really think about until you're out there holding the gun saying, hey, got to shoot on my left side here. These pros can play both hands, shooting 20, 30 balls a second. These electronic guns shoot so fast. All-Americans players now crawling up the side of the snake and both snakes are filled, but he's all the way on the other side of the field. Oh, and he just got hit by that player that crawled up all inside the field. Oakland Blast player eliminated by the cross shot from the All-Americans player who has crawled all the way up into the, fall, the opponent's red zone. Super aggressive right now. All-Americans are firing all cylinders. It's all seven guys. There's good communication there. When you have a front player crawling up the snake, it's always good to have a cover guy. And so that's your back player, 100 point max, meaning nobody got eliminated from All-Americans, seven alive. What a game between Oakland Blast and All-Americans. Super aggressive, off the break. There's so much movement, I couldn't keep track of all the players. Come together, they, and All-Americans just dominated, hit all the snake guys on the Oakland Blast side, hit the Dorito guys, and then just took off and said, hey, I'm gonna hit all you guys and we're not gonna, we're not gonna lose anybody. 100 point max, All-Americans. That is the first perfect I mean, we're in a little bit of rebuilding here. We lost uh, some of our core guys uh, at the beginning of this year. and Throughout the year, we've lost a couple people. Um, I don't know if it's because of our practice regimen or just people got other stuff going on in life, but we're changing. When Extreme Paintball Beyond the Paint continues, Chris LaSoya promotes some of the hottest nightlife to be found. Our final game of the day matches up Portland Naughty Dogs against Montreal Image. Image's superstar Chris LaSoya has taken on the bad boy persona on the field. I'm out there to win and I'll do whatever it takes to win. 
but off the field. Chris is a nightclub and party promoter, just looking to show a good time. My personality off the field is a lot different than personality on the field. When I'm on the field, I, I hate everybody. I don't care who you are. I, I don't care if I hurt you. I don't care if you go to the hospital. It really doesn't bother me at all. When it, come, when it comes off the field, I really get along with a lot of people. I enjoy life. You know, my life is one big event. You know, I throw big, big events, uh, big parties. You know, I'm a club promoter. The clubs in Denver, I gotta tell you, they go off. All the girls are hot. All the people are fun. It's a good life to live, I gotta tell you. What? I've been promoting clubs and raves, uh, big events for probably about 10 to 12 years. What I do is a lot of it's on the phone. Everything's hired out and contracted to certain people. The people that do the work for me have, have long lasting history with me. I mean, where, where, else can you, where else can you find all this stuff? I mean, everything pulled up in one. We start about three months out, booking DJs with the different, uh, different booking agents, uh, setting up the lights and sound, uh, filling riders. You know, some of these DJs have some crazy riders. Uh, you know, you gotta get certain equipment for them. As far as throwing parties around here goes, we do parties at Red Rocks. 9,000, 10,000 people. You know, our small parties are around 1,000 people. So, you know, it's it's something that I love to do. Club promoting, you know, I, I like to make people happy. I like facilitating things. So people come out and have a good time. And that's really all I care about. So as long as everybody has a good time, that doesn't matter to me. Back on the NPPL center court, LaSoya's Montreal image is set to take on Portland Naughty Dogs. Image, a little late break out there. Loses their front player off the break again. This, we've seen this many times in these games that uh, Image lose that player. I think they got to come up with a new game plan. Lasoya moving over to the Roly, but oh, looks like one of the Image players may be called for wiping. They did wiping. The worst infraction you can have on a paintball field is a three for one. That means that refs felt that he was wiping a hit off and they pulled three of his friends, one of the friends being Lasoya. He's not going to like that at all. Not getting hit, but getting pulled on that penalty. Naughty Dogs smell blood right away in the red zone. Images on their heels with that penalty really hurt you. Naughty Dogs from the Northwest. Oregon, Washington area. Now are uh, ready to clean up on Image, really. They're just ready to go. They got to in the red zone, just gonna give a couple more moves up into the snake this snake player has a good shot on this car wash let's see if he gets um but the car wash sees him so they're gonna battle a little bit when you're battling with another player i mean a lot of people think like oh the best gunfighter is the winner in paintball but it's not it's always a uh, timing it's always angles you gun battle, you know, 50-50 times. Half the time you're gonna get shot, half the time they're gonna get shot. So the better players are uh, the thinkers, make sure they use their team to get the right angles out. And even though it seems like a team's up on bodies, it's still hard to, to pin it down the last few guys because you gotta angle them out. This one though, the dog's communicating well, putting things together, snap shooting a bit, a little battle. But as you can see, the Night Dogs don't look like they're all under pressure here. They're just going kind of slowly up the field, saying, all right, we're the last couple guys. It looks like all Night Dogs players are in the red zone now. Image. It's tough. When you get a penalty on you, you know, the rest of the team, is just, you're kind of broken. You know, it, It's hard to come back from that. Oh, one of the dogs, double one run throughs on three sides. Down the middle, down the right, down the left. Lose one in the process, but the dogs clean up. Take it to image. Everybody's dropping games right now. You know, the, the Naughty Dogs are playing really well. They're probably one of the top teams out here playing right now, along with Infamous. You know, it was, I know it was going to be a rough game going in there. We got a one for one early on, which kind of hurt. Uh, you know, I think we got two or three eliminations, but I mean, at that point, we were, we were kind of in a hole anyway, and we were, we were stuck in the back, and there's not much we could do from there. A wiping penalty is when a player is shot by a valid hit, because not all hits are valid, but a valid hit, and he knowingly either cleans it off with the hand, any part of his body, he rubs it up against a bunker or slides it off. That is considered a wiping penalty, which is a three for one. Once you pull him, you eliminate him and three other of his team members. Here's another look at that final run through from the Naughty Dogs. Center player up the middle, player up the top, player down the bottom, cleaning up. Last couple players from Image. Good move.
team effort by Night Dogs. I love the paintball industry no matter what, and I know it's something I want to do for the rest of my life because it's something I've grown to love. You know, irregardless if I play or not, I always want to be involved with it somehow because I know I can make a difference and make it better. You know, bringing my knowledge to some of these kids, you know, and hopefully pointing them in the right direction, you know, because, you know, some kids these days kind of get off the path of where they're going and they lose their way, and I think paintball is a great outlet for them. I teach these clinics around the United States and around the world, and I see how these kids' faces light up, and it just, it really, it's a great feeling. But paintball probably saved my life over the long run, because, I mean, if I didn't have paintball, I don't know what I'd be doing. Coming up on the next installment of Extreme Paintball, Beyond the Paint, Dynasty superstar Ryan Greenspan cuts loose in his San Diego playground. And then the beach is five blocks away, so it really is America's finest city, to be honest. I don't know, I don't know why. It even says it on the police phone. I'll probably find one. I'll have to check it out. <laughs>